have this and he really wanted your mom to get a chance to hear this. I'm sorry for your loss, man. He was a great Hey, kid. mom. If you're hearing this message, then it must mean that I wasn't able to make it back. My work as a soldier has asked the greatest sacrifice of me. I'm sending this message with the hope that I might offer you some comfort, some understanding. And despite the pain that must be burdening your heart, here's something that I forgot to share with you for a while, Mom. I love you. I never did say it enough while I had the chance, but it's something that has always resonated in my heart. In the face of the unknown, life in the military paints a very vivid picture from my childhood. I remember how he used to take me camping out in the backyard. <laughs> I was barely bigger than the tent at that time. When you would point out the stars, you would always tell me there were brave soldiers from a far off world forever shining down on us. It was those nights that shaped my dream to serve our beloved country. But not just that, also the fishing trips. Ever since we lost dad, I remember I never got a chance to learn how to fish. In those early mornings where you teach me how to cast a line and telling me that patience and focus would surely get me a catch, well they did. The lessons and the fish alike. You taught me to be patient. You taught me to be resilient. You taught me what love was. And I carried those lessons all throughout my life. Mom. And even in these final moments, sometimes when we're on the mission, in the silence at night, I like to look up at the stars and remember that those soldiers are still forever shining down on us. It provides me comfort because it reminds me of home. It reminds me of you. It reminds me why I am fighting for and what I'm fighting for. I want you to remember these moments too, Mom. Remember the joy they brought us, the bond they forged between us, and I want you to find comfort in them rather than let my absence cloud our shared past. I hope this message brings you strength, Mom. And know this, if I could, I would fight a hundred more battles just to get back home to you. Unfortunately, life sometimes has different plans. And my biggest regret is leaving you with this pain. So all I can hope is that you'll remember me with a smiling face and a brave heart, Mom. Just know that it's not your fault. I chose these boots. I chose this uniform. And I knew the risk. It wasn't your fault because you nurtured love in me. And it was the love for our nation that made me choose this. So please, Mom, don't mourn me. Celebrate me. I like to think that I lived a life of honor. I braved challenges, and I got the chance to love you. You are my hero. And if I'm remembered as half the person you are, Mom, then my life has been a rousing success. I gotta sign off now, Mom. But one more time, forever and always, I love you. A ton of the men and women that we had out there. He was friendly to everybody and respected by everybody. 
and you should be proud of him. I just wish he was here. I understand. All he requests is let this get back to your mother. If you could do me a favor and make sure that when she wakes up, no, it's not a matter of if, it's when she wakes up from the coma. If you could give this to her so that she can hear his voice as well. We want to make sure that both of you knew how much she meant to him. Thank you, Lord. I'm sorry for your loss.